This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 where the world designs electronics and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine for electronic parts. How to learn flying a drone and there too without a drone? Isn't it cool? Of course it is. But if you want to learn how to fly a drone in just 5, 10 or 15 minutes, then I would say, brother, this is the right time for you, just run away. It's complete bullshit if someone tells you to learn how to fly a drone in just 30 minutes. You would feel like a scared kid holding your breath when you hold the remote controller for the first time and the self-leveling mode on the drone is off and you already know that you can't afford to crash the drone. No matter how hard you try, your drone is likely to crash when you are a beginner drone pilot. In the beginning, your drone will crash about 20 to 30 times on average. Believe me, these starting crashes can be quite severe. Even I have crashed my drone multiple times in the beginning, damaging several props and even the frame in one severe crash. I also damaged a few motors. So if you don't want your props to break or your motors to get damaged or your drone frame to break and you definitely don't want your flight controller to get damaged due to a crash, then I recommend that before you actually build or fly a drone, you should get the FlySky FSI6 transmitter and this RC simulator kit. There are two advantages of this RC simulator kit. Number one, beginners can quickly learn how to fly a drone. And number two, those who are already drone pilots can further polish their piloting skills with the help of this simulator kit. With the help of this simulator kit, nowadays I'm practicing new moves. Anyway, let's start the unboxing. So without any further delay, let's get started. As you can see, this is the RC simulator kit and this kit can be used with all these simulator softwares. Personally, the simulator softwares that I like are Freerider and Liftoff. In today's video, I'll be using the Freerider simulator and soon I will also make a video on the Liftoff simulator. Anyway, let's open up this box. Inside this box, there is a USB dongle that will be connected to a PC or laptop and some cables and connectors. Inside this box, you will also find a CD which obviously contains drivers and some simulators. But as I said, we will be using the Freerider simulator. Anyway, we have got two different types of connectors. You need to check on the big side of your transmitter which connector to use. In my case, I'm going to use this connector. So I will simply plug it into this port on the big side of my transmitter. Now using this wire, I will connect the connector on my transmitter to the USB dongle. Next, I'm going to turn on the transmitter and connect the USB dongle to the laptop. You can see that I have already installed the FPV Freerider demo software. You can search for it on Google and download it for free. Or you can also download it from our website electronicclinic.com and you can install the drivers and other softwares from the CD. It's the same method as you install drivers for a sound card, mouse and other devices. So let's go ahead and open the Freerider simulator. Get your Ultium 365 workspace activated because Ultium 365 provides a useful solution in cases when you are facing difficulties with your PCB design and unsure of your next step. You can share your project in Ultium Designer or on the web with any user in just a few clicks. You will have full control over who you want to give read-only access for let's say comments and design inspections and who you want to give read-write access to allow full global collaboration by a geographically dispersed team with editing performed through Ultium Designer. Let me show you how to share your project. Simply right-click on the project name and select Share. Write the user's email. Select Read or Write permissions from the drop-down menu on the right. and click on the share button. It's just that simple. I've added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. 
As you can see, my free rider simulator is open and this is the Flysky FSI 6 transmitter. I'm sure you know about the control sticks. This is the throttle, this is yaw, this is pitch and this is roll. Right now, my transmitter is connected with a laptop. Set the graphics quality at highest and set the audio volume as per your taste. And on the right side, you can see the input. I have already selected USB controller as I'm using a USB dongle. But if you click on this button, you can select a different controller. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go with the USB controller. First of all, you will need to calibrate your transmitter. So for this, click on the calibrate controller. The calibration process is very simple. Just follow the on-screen instructions. If your stick inputs are not centered, for this you can use trim keys on the transmitter or you can use the digital trim sliders. The control sticks are centered and now we can click on the OK button. The controller has been calibrated. As I'm using free version of the FPV free rider, so I'm only allowed to use the dessert scene while all the other scenes are only available in the paid version. Anyway, for now, let's go with the free one. By default, the first person view or FPV is on. But if you don't have the FPV goggles and you want to practice freestyle, then you can click on the camera button. Everything looks good and now let's apply the throttle. In freestyle without the FPV, you can't do much. You will only be able to go forward and backward. Trust me, you won't be able to control the drone when you turn the drone. The drone right will be your left and the drone left will be your right. And the same thing applies to the drone front and back. So I won't recommend to practice in freestyle. And one more thing, if you want to be a pro drone pilot, then you need to keep the aggro mode on. Never activate the self leveling because in the self level mode controller does all the things. Drone racers never uses the self leveling. So I won't recommend self level mode. I know aggro mode is difficult, but trust me, if you learned how to fly a drone in aggro mode, then you will be able to fly any type of drone. And I'm also going to activate the FPV mode. It feels like as if I'm flying it in real and the control sticks are so responsive. And I'm sure practicing on this simulator will make a big difference. The more you practice, the more you will improve your piloting skills. As a beginner, I'm sure you won't make such a turn without crashing your drone. Oops, I also crashed it. I'm also not a good drone pilot and that's why I purchased myself this simulator. Nowadays, I'm practicing simple turns and how to use both control sticks at the same time for making sharp turns. I'm not saying that if you practice on this simulator, your drone won't crash when you fly it in real life, but the number of crashes you are going to have would significantly decrease because when you practice repeatedly on this simulator it will build up your fingers muscles memory and you will know how to turn the drone to the right and how to turn it to the left and one more thing you guys need to keep the horizon horizontal if you don't want to crash your drone as you can see, the horizon is horizontal even when I am making the turns. If your drone is moving in the forward direction and you only use yaw to make a turn, your drone will tilt to one side and you will know this from the horizon. So using the roll stick, you can level your drone. So use the yaw and roll together to make nice and smooth turns. I myself practicing on this a lot and you guys should also practice a lot if you want to quickly improve your piloting skills. 
while practicing on a simulator just forget about the PID tuning and the type of drone you have or you plan to build just focus on how to level the horizon how to make smooth turns how to make sharp turns how to move it in circles and how to rotate it around an object etc this is exactly like learning to drive a car and once you become an expert you can drive any car you just need two or three minutes to understand a new car such as the accelerator response brakes turns etc then you adjust your mind accordingly it's the same thing here once your muscle memory is developed you can fly any type of drone so that's all for now support me on patreon for more videos i hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching